Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an early start on Supercars of London. And today, I'm very excited to be filming a behind the scenes or a day in the life of what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis. And the reason why I'm filming it today is because it's slightly more interesting and exciting than it has been over the last three or four days, or maybe even two weeks. I think I've just been planning so much for this weekend that I forgot all about today's video shoot. It's going to include my car, and it's also going to include Auto Trader. So this is a complete dream come true for me. I spend all day on their website dreaming up uh, budgets and then trying to find the best car possible. So I'm really looking forward to today. I'm not sure how the plan is going to go, but I'm just going to bring you along with me. Film behind the scenes, get you to meet the film crew and it's also going to be filmed at SB Race Engineering so I will give you a tour of what's going on down there, what cars are in. They've got some really cool stuff at the moment so um, here we go. So we've made it into SB Race Engineering. So whilst the camera crew get completely set up, I'm just going to show you the Audi A3 e-tron that one of the guys from Auto Trader has come in. Um, Audi's press car looks awesome. And today it's going to be all about the Audi R8. So we're going to do some awesome tracking shots. We're going to try and find some country roads, do some cool exterior and interior shots of the car whilst I get interviewed about where I found my car, which I did actually find it on Auto Trader. Um, and just a little bit of background into the car why I love it so much and what's next. So now the office is free. We've kicked everyone out from SB and we've got the film crew from Auto Trader here and we're about to film I Bought One for YouTube and I'm really excited to uh, give my perception of before I bought the car. You all followed me on my journey of my first supercar, of me testing all of the cars, but what you didn't really see or what I didn't document was me actually clicking on the internet all of the time, trying to wait for the right car to come along. And when it did, I bought it. So this is what this video is going to be all about and I'm going to be bringing you on a behind the scenes journey of the interview in the office but also when we're out on the road as well. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. There's a lot of movement downstairs with SB and um, a lot of cars coming in and out so I'll try and film all of that as well. And this is going to be a bit of a day in the life of what I get up to on a more interesting day than me just sitting here working away on my laptop. Woohoo! We are in the car and the car is on warming up we've got a 599 here with tube exhaust we've got lambos porsche and more ferraris and then in the rear view we can see the tracking car that is going to be following me onto the motorway and then back into some back roads so we can get some nice shots got a walkie talkie here which um i could talk to people on but i'm not actually going to talk to people oh the audi's moving pretty cool the e-tron thing actually I'm not sure whether we're good to go or not, but you're coming with me. As we go and have some fun. Look how dirty it is down there. Some receipts. This is a sticky map for my video camera that normally sits up there. And then my notes book for when I'm making videos. So we've been unlucky with the weather so far. It just was raining, which means that putting the GoPros on the car is slightly more difficult than we were hoping, but it's just turned sunny now. So fingers crossed we can get the GoPros on and get moving. My car is over there. We are only down the road from SB Race Engineering. It's not gonna take us long to get onto the motorway and get cruising. Auto Trader showing me how cool the charge point is, which, Apparently took some time to uh, find. <laughs> How hidden is that? That's all of Iron Man stuff. That was the quickest trip down to oh the five nine nine. Can you see that? Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? AMG GT. That is so nice. Whoa! <laughs> I was not. What the hell happened there? I feel like I've got a transformer in my car or a baby transformer. The GoPro's running. But anyway, we are now en route to location at number two. And we're just gonna have some fun, or as much fun as you can have with 40 miles of fuel. This isn't ideal down a country road. What a nightmare. Tap 
taxis bossing the lorry. Hey. Boom in the second gear. Jesus, what is that? Some sort of cement mixer. So my location was a lot busier than expected and because we need to get the perfect sound bites and also the perfect sort of sound waves and it's got a busy main road, you could probably hear it. it. Wasn't a good location. So I'm currently sat here whilst the other guys go off and look and do a bit of a location scout as um, I've come up with a couple of suggestions but they just don't seem to be working. One of them didn't have a uh, car park. The place behind me is private parking which isn't good. Um, you don't want to get kicked out of there. So fingers crossed we come up with a, a good place that we could do some cool drive-bys, some tracking shots of the car static, making the car look super cool. Um, but overall, so far, I mean, it's not even midday yet. I feel like I've done so much. We've um, smashed out the interview. And overall, it's been a really cool day so far. So I've been hanging by the St Albans City and District bin for quite some time now. Starting to wonder whether I'm being punished. Even the UPS man that has just come around the corner has made his delivery. Now everyone will vouch for me that when you've ordered something online, it takes forever to come. You're waiting at home, you're waiting for the delivery, you get the text to say it's going to come between midday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and that is the longest period of time between 9 o'clock in the morning when you wake up and the delivery time. But the UPS man has made a delivery. I'm still hanging around. I think they've found a better car to do tracking shots of, if I'm completely honest. Right, so uh, we've caught up with the film crew. I'm now in a butterfly farm, which is apparently 10 minutes away from where I live, but I've never been here before. Don't really know why, to be honest. It looks like great fun in there. Um, but we have got the car parked over there where they're doing some tracking static shots of the car. And then I think I'm going to try and use my last 35 miles of field to do some uh, drive-bys, get some good sounds of the car, and then I think we're done. But uh, let me know how you let me know how you think I'm doing on these vlogs and stuff. Let me know whether you uh, want to see more of these. I'm looking forward to the summer, where I'm going to be bringing my uh, vlogging camera with me a lot, so that I can show you what it's really like to spot cars in London as well. So that's coming soon, and uh, off to go and have a look at where my car's going. I now feel like I'm on top of the mountain with my car down there. Look at that. You can see the silver inside the car. That's not the great, uh, the best angle of my car. I'm going to move around a bit. We've got the guys working, getting the good camera out, getting the money shot. There you go, that's slightly better. It's so windy. I really don't know what to do, and I'm not sure how this is all going to come out. So, on the final location now with an awesome stretch of road here which I will try and vlog basically what this bit is is I'm going to be doing just some drive-bys in my car to get some nice sounds taking the GoPros off and this is the final sort of bit of the shoot with Auto Trader. so um, I might give my phone as well to uh, one of the guys to film from the outside as well so you get to see what it's going to look like from my mobile phone but obviously they're going to have much better equipment and much better cameras um, but today because it's so portable and I need to vlog as much as possible from behind the scenes I'm using my iPhone's front facing camera which I've seen a lot of the vloggers use um, which is quite cool I definitely just heard an animal over there but yeah so I'm using my iPhone today and uh, the guys are getting set up and there's a car coming I thought that was police there for you So I hope you guys have enjoyed this behind the scenes video of what has been going on today with Auto Trader. Huge thanks to them for being fantastic hosts throughout the day. Really enjoyed filming with them and I'm also excited to be a part of this campaign of I Bought One. I'm just heading to SB Race Engineering now to finish off my day, get this video edited. I apologise I haven't given much information about what's happening this weekend. I'm heading down to Monaco with Sam from Seen Through Glass. We're gonna have a lot of fun. There's gonna be some insane videos, loads of challenges, and then when I get back from Monaco, all hell is gonna break loose on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. I can assure you that the supercar content coming is just gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be absolutely insane. Monaco, London, 
and who knows where else. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon, most likely in France. Cheers, guys.